Hi everyone, it's Gail, and we're here today with week 39 of the Roxy's Weekly Challenge, which is some transparent washi kind of stuff. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Let me say hi and hugs first to Leslie, Mary, Sarah, and Oriel. Thank you for watching and for your nice comments. Okay, so here's the scoop on this challenge. Rachel did it with um, tracing paper. I don't have any tracing paper. <laughs> my husband said, oh my gosh, there's something you don't have. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, yep, don't have tracing paper. So I'm going to try it with some other papers. So I have this onion paper. So thought I'd try that. And then I have deli paper. So I think we'll try one of each of those. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to do a three inch and a two inch strip of each. And we'll see if we can get those done. I don't know which I would prefer the three or two. So we'll just do one of each and see. Okay, so there's the onion skin. I'll try and kind of keep it. This one has a, what do you call it, watermark. Yeah, this is a little over three, so we could use that too if we end up having time. Um, so yeah, anyways, we'll see which one we like better, the deli paper or the tracing paper. I don't know. Um, maybe this isn't quite as clear as tracing paper, but, um, she said she didn't feel like vellum would work as well. I do have vellum. Do I have any, um, scraps of that? I'm just thinking. Let me look quick. Oh, I do. I do, I do. Look at this. I have a scrap of vellum. Let's try it too. Maybe we'll do one of each <clears throat> and see where we get to. Let's see. Two. I'm going to do a two inch. And then this is going to be a little over three. So, okay. We're just going to experiment because I don't know how any of these are going to work. I think she felt like maybe vellum was a little too thick, but we'll see. Okay. And then she did some stamping and I just used the deli paper for the stamping. So we'll see how that works. Okay. And then she had all sorts of little bits and pieces, which I have up here. Let me see where, what, what can you see? Okay. You can only see to about there. Um, so I have circles. I have some little strips of paper. I have a few little squares of paper. I have some other um, uh, scraps. I have some cut out frames. I have some um, triangles. And I also have my, um, you know, my little bucket O, bucket O scraps. Then in here, I have, there's lots of little things in here. I have these homemade stamps that I made, some that Charlotte Peterson made. Um, I have some little labels and things from Crafty Boo Bro. And these labels are for him too. And I cut out a couple of those. I have some little bitty ephemera pieces from Two Sisters Junk Journals. I have my porch prints stamps. I have these. And I have a bunch of um, small ephemera from Artie Mays in this. And some tickets and stuff. So, I don't know. I think we'll have enough to play with. I don't, I, I don't know about this project, Rachel. It, it, she, she said it was out of her comfort zone, too. I, and I thought, yeah, it's, it's out of mine, too. So, okay, let's move these for now. 
and we'll start with the onion skin paper and see how it does, I guess. Okay, hope I can remember all this. I watched the video a couple days ago because I was um, I was out of town for a few days. Oh, I also have these, which are the negatives of some of some die cuts that I did. Uh, the frames, these frames, I wanted to show you a trick. I don't know if you guys have seen this, so let's do that first. Um, many of you may know this, but it has helped me tremendously with my cutting out something in the middle. So we're gonna make a hole in the middle, right? And then we're going to cut up to this corner Yes, to the corner. And then we're going to take this one and go it up to the corner. Right? Then we're going to take this one up to the corner. And this one. So you just go to all four corners. Now, like on these that had this funky little corner, I went up to this corner. Then I went up to this corner. So I actually had eight corners that I went up to. But then you can just easily cut down the one side and you just cut it to your next cut and um, it'll pull out if you get all the way to the end. Yeah, and then that one's gone. And then you can just do this side. It makes it super easy to cut things out the middle and, you know, not only works on square things like this, but also like um, in between bird's feet when you're fussy cutting a bird, for instance, or something like that. And if, if, they're, if it's not corners, if it's round, just cut, cut to the corner. The main thing is you're making it into manageable pieces. And look how nice and tidy that is. So I thought I'd show that. I mean, I many of you may know that. I, ha I have a little diet pop today, which is a treat. I never get that. We went to McDonald's for lunch. I'd been seeing Big Mac commercials. <laughs> I was, I've been having a craving and... We got our flu shot this morning, so Mike said, you were such a good girl, I'll take you to McDonald's for lunch. So we had a Big Mac and some fries and a pop, which kind of a treat for this kid because we don't do that hardly ever. So, okay, um, I'm procrastinating, aren't I? Well, Rachel just put stuff on here. I don't know. This, this one's way out of my comfort zone. I don't know why. It's just like, I don't know. Hmm, it just is. It just is. This is pretty. I don't know. So then, I think I'll like grab some. Like this is kind of transparent, so that's good. I don't know, you just layer stuff up though, is the deal. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put another one. I'll put that clear to the bottom. I don't know if you can see this whole thing of but I don't want to be off the camera, you know. Here's a piece of like kind of antique paper. And then you put on circles, you put on other things. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. Rachel, you're killing me here with this challenge because I don't, I don't know. I feel, I'm just going to start sticking things down. That's what I'm going to do. Try not to sort of overthink it too much, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I was going to put that kind of like that, I guess. I don't know. It's going down. 
See, and you can see through this, not super well, but you kind of can see through it. So, I don't know if it's going to have the same effect when used on pieces. Okay, so I put that at the very bottom. <coughs> and then you kind of cut it or tear it into pieces to use on, you know, on different things. So let's see, I am filming this on Thursday. So I have to tell you the craziness Mike and I have been doing. So Tuesday, we went to Bozeman because Addie had her crosstown volleyball game, which is a big deal. Um, the two schools in the town, you know, kind of fighting for bragging rights, I guess you could say. And um, spent the night Tuesday, um, took Alfie back. And then, um, and then, um, we, Wednesday morning, we came home, we repacked our bags and we drove the opposite way in the state and went to Missoula to our son's house to watch his daughter play middle school volleyball. So, um... And then we came home this morning, so Thursday morning, came home this morning. Um, I changed into a short sleeve shirt. I have a sweater on now, but a short sleeve shirt. My husband did too. And we went and got our flu shot. <laughs> so we've had a busy few days. I feel like, holy cow, these have been busy. Oh, these are cool. Yeah, I didn't realize I had these. Um, Rachel painted some labels. I did not do that. I had all these paper scraps. I'm like, I think I have enough here to to play with. So I didn't. I didn't do that. But these are cool on here. I think. Okay, well, maybe I'll put those on there. Um, these are really, these are funny, and I can never tell if it's sticky. If it's like a sticky label thing. Bear with me for a second while I pick at it. <laughs> and just see, I guess not. Okay. So, so yeah, so the awesome thing was it was just beautiful because you know all the trees are turning and so one of my favorite things is um in the fall to see the aspen trees all yellow in amongst the um pine trees oh it's just so beautiful and everything was at its height like there there was one hill and I said to my husband you know if you painted that people would think it looked fake <laughs> because there was every every single color it was um yeah there was there was just everything um there was purple there was yellow there was green there was um, orange and a maroony color. Oh, it was just, it was just so lovely. Um, kind of like how that hangs over right there. I think I'm going to put that right there. Hope you can see that. This is from... G. Kerr, Happiness in Crafting on Etsy. I'll try and tell you some stuff I might not know. Yeah, so um, so it was fun. Uh, my son's daughter's game was at 4 o'clock. So 
we went over we went over a little earlier and just hung out at their house while my son was working from home and while he finished up and then um then we got pizza for dinner and yeah it was just fun oh look at these these are from Artie Mays. Like, look at this little ticket. It's fun. Maybe I need it to show up a little more. Maybe like that. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I don't know. This I need a little bit of ink on. So it was kind of crazy driving home because the sun, I, well, we we took out about 8.30, I think, and the sun was in just a horrible place. Mike kept saying, I'm driving by sound. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's not reassuring. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You know, I feel like I'd like like a flower or something there. Um, let's look in. Mm. I have this funky little thing that's got these little pieces in it that are transparent. Like, I wonder if I would like that there. Hmm, no. No, but this might still come in handy. I want, like, oh, I know what flower I'll use. Hang on. These ones from Fancy Anti Crafts. They've got a little pearl on them, but yeah, I think I might put that there. Okay. There's those. Yeah, I thought I probably have enough small stuff around me from that I'll be able to, to do this challenge. Okay, I'm gonna have to I have to work on that part, don't I? Um I have this circle. I was thinking of I think I'll cut that in half. Ish. Probably not perfectly in half, but a little in half. I'm certainly not going to distress everything because it would take me forever but some stuff I'm going to just because it's how I roll peeps so we took Alfie back which was great um my daughter had a bit of a tragedy in her family um in her husband's family and so, um, and so it was good that Alfie's there to, to comfort them all. And, um, I think I want a little bit of text right there. Yeah. Um, so he's with them. And then Saturday we're going to go to Addie's volleyball, but we're they're going to take Alfie and we'll bring him home with us again because they need to go for a memorial service. So we'll have Alfie back for a few days. Then on Tuesday, Mike's going to take him back. I have some um appointments a dentist appointment my friend that cleans my house is coming and then i have a lunch date so i have a lot of stuff on tuesday so mike's just gonna run him home i think 
I might call that good. I kind of think I'd like a word right there. Um, oh, or a number. That's right. I'm not these. These are labels, which we could use too. But um, where do I have my stamped things? That's the other thing I need to think about. Here's the word grateful. It's kind of big. I think I might like, I think I have some teeny weeny little numbers in here. Like this one. Yeah, that's what we want. Um, I need to leave this out so I know what I've got to work with here. Um, yeah, so we're going to have him for a few, a few more days. And when they go on vacations and stuff, we'll, we'll have him. So, okay. So there's that part. I'm going to say that's full enough on that one. And then you do a little stamping. So let me get... I'm going to get my black. I forgot to get any colors besides black, brown, and red. Because we could have done some other colors too, but that's okay. Um, I think I want black on this one. Um, oh, and don't forget about our little stamps and stuff. These. Actually, I might try one of these right down in this corner. Like maybe a bird. We'll see how this works on the deli paper rather than tracing paper. So I'm just going to fussy tear it out of there and then we'll... Then we'll get a little closer to the image. Yeah, so it's cool here now. So it, Alfie should be fine being in the car and we'll just in between games, we'll get him out and stuff. Bring him some water and park in the shade. I think it should be fine. Okay, I'm going to cut off his bottom. Sorry, dude. I don't know if I love it there, but let's try it because we won't know till we try, right? And I feel like that needed something right there. Okay, jelly paper. Blue stick seems to, to work okay. Okay, we're just going to put you down right there, dude. Cut off your tail. Okay. Okay, so then you get your background stamps. And I grabbed this one because it's my favorite background stamp ever. And then I got a little bit of... Um, text too. So I think I'm going to try to stamp there. And they, I don't know. This could be interesting. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just going to put some right here in this corner. That's, that's sticky. Let's put this under there. Oh, I should, okay, we can go this way, okay. Okay, it's okay. You, that's good, yeah, okay. Around this way, do a little right there, and then I want a little right here. Okay, okay, now 
let's use this is my grubby I have used this to death script stamp but I kind of love it okay here's what I want to do is somehow like that I want to get in the white part kind of 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 those pieces. Okay. I think I need a little right here. Some right there. Some right there. A little right there. A little right here. Okay. I'm calling that one done. Hoofta. Okay, I like it though. Can you see it okay? Turn it kind of sideways. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I feel like I might need something right there, but I guess as I tear it apart and use it, you could always stamp or add another little piece to it or something, couldn't you? Okay, well, one down. <laughs> okay, let's do, um, what do I do with them there over here? Shall we do, um, the deli paper. I'm gonna do the deli paper next. And I'm, mm, am I gonna do bigger? I'm gonna do bigger and I'll show you why in a minute. Now this one, I'm thinking more of for Christmas, perhaps, is what I'm thinking. Like, see, I've got this. I could. I could put in a couple different spots. Um, I've got these couple things from Tsunami Rose Designs. So, um, butterflies with Christmas decor in them, and then these, um, labels, Christmas labels. So, um, I could use those. I have some... Well, this is kind of green, so that could work. I have some red dots as well. I have red labels. So, I don't know. You know, the other thing I grabbed is I had a couple of pieces of vellum that I was thinking, just scraps, you know, that I was thinking might be kind of fun. On these. Because um, I am kind of starting to think about Christmas a little bit. I am. Whether or not I should be. <laughs> it's a whole nother thing. Um, I was thinking about like music, like Christmas music. All my Christmas stuff is so buried, you guys. I can't get it out until I actually get it out, you know? Um, is there any music in here? Yes. I do have some music. So, we'll just use this and pretend like it's Christmas music. Who knows? It could even be. I don't know. So, um... Yeah, so anyway, your pal Gail's been kind of busy. We've been going from one end of the state to the other. I'm excited, though, because Saturday, I think my son's family is going to come and watch, too. And um, that'll be fun, obviously, for Addie. But um, then it'll, it'll be kind of fun for um, her little sister, Katie, and then my son's daughter Marin are super good friends 
and then Addie and my grandson Aiden are the same age. And, and it's going to be fun because Addie's playing Aiden's school. And so, um, you know, Aiden will know some girls on the team and whatever. And well, so that might be kind of, kind of fun. He says he's not sure that he knows any of the girls on the team. And he said, I don't, I don't follow it anyway. So, um, I have no problem just rooting for Addie. <laughs> like, okay. Such a sweetheart. Okay. So then, yeah, it was awesome. We haven't seen my son's family. My son, as you know, was here for a night earlier, um, a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, something. And, um, but we haven't seen his family in a while. So it was really fun. Oh, and the other thing that was fun is my daughter-in-law's mom came. She lives about a half hour away and I haven't seen her in a long, long time. So that was super fun. We caught up a little bit and boy, is the vellum ever making it curl. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure that was a good idea, but okay, can we curl this the other way? A little bit. Okay, I'll put that on. I don't know. Again, I'm just kind of going for it. I don't know what I'm doing. But I did know I wanted to try different um, papers because I just don't have any tracing paper. <laughs> I cracked up at my husband. What? There's a supply? You don't have any? I'm like, I don't. No tracing paper. I could have got some today at Walmart when we went to get our flu shot. I should have thought of that. Oh my gosh, the guy that gave us our flu shot was the nicest guy. I could have chatted with him all afternoon. My husband's given me the look like, you're talking too much. <laughs> it happens. What can I say? I don't get out much. So when I do, I just want to chat people up. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah. Let's just give this a chop. And I think I'm going to give it a slight edge so that you can see it better. Yeah, so, boy, Walmart was busy. Holy cow, Walmart Pharmacy. Oof, there's people everywhere. So... Lucky we actually hit it just right before all these people showed up. So it was like, okay, we're good. We can get in and get our get our stuff done. Um ooh, I like that too. Or do I want a different frame, like a green one? Ooh, I like that. Actually, I think I'm gonna put that whole frame on there. So, yeah. Anyway, I thought, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to be too tired to do a video, but I needed to because we're going to be gone again on Saturday. It's like, oh my goodness. And then next week is when my husband's brother comes. So I have no idea what's going to happen that week. So if I go missing <laughs> for a day or two, you'll know, oh gosh, she's, she's busy with her company. Oh... Okay, so something there. So I have some more of this. And this birdie, it's such a shame, but his face is cut off. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. One of my subbies said, I hate to tell you this, Gail, but this cold, I'm hearing this cold lasts, um, lasts for a month. 
And I'm like, oh, I didn't want to know that. Okay, I think I want to. So, I'm kind of finding that the tissue works well, too. Yeah, so Rachel was making all kinds of these. She made several. Another great idea, though, for something fun and different to do. Um, would you be good? Oh, let's put you right there. Oops. <laughs> Crunched that. Actually, it's better to put the glue on a base rather than on the tissue, but I did. Okay. Um, 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 um. Now what? It's kind of, kind of fun. I'm just going to cut off where there's a hole. Oh, wait, we're supposed to do butterflies and stuff. I forgot, got too busy chatting at you. Okay, that's okay. That's good there. And maybe, do we want, uh, yeah, why not? I have this chunk of glue that needs to go somewhere. <laughs> Well, that's never going to come off in a million years. There's a lot of glue on that. Okay. Okay, so let's think about... Let's think about if we want one of these butterflies. I really like this one. I've been trying to kind of do a couple of Christmas things here and there. Just to kind of get ready. Um, oh, and I was going to tell you guys, I ordered, there was a, um, video that Marguerite Miller did where she has a pre-order on, um, this Christmas collage book and it's like got, a kind of a collage a day type thing. And I thought, you know what, that's going to be my Christmas treat. I mean, I'll be doing videos every day, and I'm thinking I want to do ephemera. Like, every day do a certain piece of ephemera in Christmassy paper or whatever. And, um, but I thought, you know, I could just do that collage on my own time and then I could just show you guys every once in a while the pages that I've done or something. Anyway, um, the book at the pre-order price was $18 and I thought that was really reasonable. It's got the prompts right in there and um, a little bit of decoration to kind of get you started and stuff so I think it'll be really fun. Sorry I didn't have these cut out. Um, I usually do with my ephemera, but I just printed them. Like, um, they'll be in an Etsy share uh, before this airs. I'll print off more of what she has. <clears throat> I'm really thinking about having him half and half. Dude, I'm going to cut you right down the center. Sorry. 
I'm going to put that right there. It's a little um, graphic, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I don't know. After that one collage where you guys were like, well, bunnies are food. <laughs> And I, and I said to somebody, I think in some places they eat dogs. So I think I, I think I got all my requirements. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. We collagers are weird people. Okay. I don't know. I think with the stamping, that might be enough. I'm kind of feeling like it's like it's done. Anything right there? I don't think so. I'm going to I'm going to do this again. I love this one. Maybe I'll do this in red. Since we're Christmassy. Oops, don't do that, Gail. That's all sticky. I need more glue pages is what I need. Come here, you. Here's a big old stack. These are all out of a dollar store book, so I'll put it upside down. Um, that was a, it was a altered book, and so all of these pages came out of there. Okay, let's just, I'm just going to go this way. Ooh, cool. Okay. I'm going to go here. And here. And I think down here. Okay. want to do like right in here. A little right here. A little right here. Okay, and then black and we'll do a little bit of texty too <coughs> excuse me yeah I put on my flu shot form that I had a cough but she just asked me a few questions about you know how long I'd had it and stuff and she's like I you're okay so I'm like okay We'll see how I feel tomorrow. So far, my arm's not sore or anything. Um, I think I'm just gonna go, go slightly in the middle of this, like that. Have to be careful on the vellum because it's um, gonna be, you know, sitting on top kind of like it does. Okay, well, there's a Christmas one. How fun is that? Okay, um, so, so far we know that onion skin and um, deli paper work. So I'll set this one over here to dry. And let's grab now, let's grab this vellum and try that. So smaller, smaller piece. We'll just do that. Let's see. Check the time. Oh my goodness. I only have 15 minutes left. Mm, this is, oh, let's use some of this. Um, yeah, I'm a little like, ooh, let's use that. Ah, I 
just ripped it. No, it goes this way, Gail. Okay. We got a big wrinkle in it, but that's okay. Texture, right? Okay, so those are stuck to me for evermore. Okay. Let's see. What do I have? Oh, I have this gorgeous paper. Let's use some of this. I'm going to cut it down the middle so we have two pieces. Put one up there and one right there. Okay, I want some text. Let's use some Italian paper. Just tear that across right there. I cannot believe I only have 15 minutes left. This is really fun. You know it's fun when you lose all track of time. Which I appear to have done. So I got to see my other little grand doggy prince last night. He's so cute. He's a cockapoo black. And he very much reminds me of my childhood dog, which was a black poodle. His name was Peppy, and this little guy's name is Prince. My daughter in Denver sent pictures of Little Leaf, so that was fun to get today. I'll have to ask her if it's okay and print one out and show you guys the new little grandson. So cute. <laughs> one picture she was, she had leaf in the, I don't know what they call it, but it's a wrap, you know, that she wears on her front and she wraps him up in it so that she has her hands free to deal with Mr. Bucky. Um, and uh, anyway, <laughs> she had him in that and Bucky was in the bathtub <laughs> laying on his tummy. I was like, oh my gosh, they are so cute. Okay, so there's that. Um, I definitely need something down here. I'm kind of wondering if a piece of this ephemera from, there's something, oh, how about this? From Artie Mays. Yeah, that's good. There. Okay. I feel like generally I'm pretty quick at, deci at deciding on collage pieces, but I feel like this has taken me forever. Um, what do I want to do over here? like that as it is I kind of would not mind a butterfly there what do we have um, you know what I'm thinking is what about one of those transparent like washi sticker things oh no that's flowers oh, okay there they are I had misfiled my butterflies. <laughs> Whoops. So, what I'm thinking... <coughs> excuse me. Is like something like these. Not 
you. What about you? No, not him. Here's a green one. Maybe put him kind of like that or move him up a little, like about there. I'm going to try that and see how that does on there. He's a just a washi sticker. If you search Etsy for washi stickers and then butterfly or floral or mushroom, whatever you're looking for, there's lots of sellers, so should be able to find them. Okay. I'm sort of I'm sort of really maiming things today, aren't I? Okay, but I like that butterfly on there. Just kind of looking to see if there might be something else kind of butterfly I'd like. I like him there. This is going to be a, apparently a butterfly themed one. Well, tomorrow we have the guy coming to spray for spiders, which I don't necessarily like to do. I usually kind of like things to just go naturally, but my grandkids sleep in my craft room and they will wig out if there's a spider. So I'd rather have my grandkids here and have to spray the spiders than, you know. Okay, so then I just remembered we have, um, we have our stamp things. And I'm thinking of putting I'm thinking of putting that little girl right there, or a bunny. Which do I want? They're about the same size, so let's just go with the little girl with the butterfly wings, which is kind of in keeping in with what we got going on here. a sip of my pop you guys it's getting all melted mm. I know it's not good for you and I probably have maybe I don't know not very many sodas in a year since this is the first Big Mac I've had probably in three years that tells you how often we go um, yeah, I'm going to put her right there. I think Rachel got three of these done in her hour as well. So I guess I'm about on target with how long this has taken me. <clears throat> okay. There, do I want anything right there? You know, something going across would be good. Um, what do I have in pink? There's oh, and I had these little banners I was thinking about too, but I forgot about them. Oh, here's a cute piece of paper. Let's put that across there. And then we'll put one of those little numbers on it, I think. Um, gotta dig. Gotta dig. Oh, there's one. Grab it. Grab it before it sinks to the bottom. I'm just going to cut. 
cut that off. I kind of I want to see a lot of the behind paper. That's what I'm thinking. This stamp I know is from um, Tim Holtz. My background stamp with the lines, I have no idea. I got it at a garage sale. And I don't have any idea about the um, script stamp either. It was before I was realizing I needed to know where things came from. <laughs> this frame, I just still have half of that. Let's put that right there. Use up some of these little pieces this time. Oh, chunked out my glue stick, of course. Oh, I forgot to, I didn't give it any distress ink, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, just kind of looking through, looking up there. You know what I might do is put a, Stitch stamp. Yikes. Or two here. I want colored ones. What do we have in here? That's too big. Another one, small one, though. Small one. Yeah, that's fine. Do I want one? I might. I don't think that's the color I want, though. Yeah, let's put that there. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Get these on and then stamp it and we'll have another one done. Oh, we got to hurry up. I don't know if I'm leaving enough like see-through parts or not on these, but I guess there's no right or wrong. Okay, we'll put that there. Okay, and then let's stamp. Um Let's see what the brown's like since we haven't done that. Ooh, yeah, that's very subtle. It's nice. Okay. want a certain part of this stamp. Just gonna kind of go like that and see what happens. Yep, that's okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna call that good and go with the, the text, but I'm gonna do black with the text. So for instance, right here, yeah, yep, uh, maybe oh, there's a little right there, little right there, 
little right there. Okay, and I think that does it. Now let's see, tomorrow's Mixed Media Monday, but I think what we might do is play with these a little bit and, you know, use them on a piece. Let's see, um, I need a white piece. Of, I need a white background for these so you can see them. There's that one. I love that one. Um, there's Christmas, and this one's more purpley. So, very fun. Okay, this one's my favorite, I think, but I like them all, and I like them all a lot. I'm going to make more of those. I When I first watched it, I was like, I don't know, Rachel, I don't know if I'm going to like this, but... It's really fun. Now I just have to see how I like to use them, which we will do tomorrow. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Um, we may make a couple more of these tomorrow. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes with using these on some ephemera pieces. How about? Okay, I'll let you go. Have a grateful day, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.